Shake Milton, Daquan Jeffries, Alec Burks, Deuce McBride, and Jericho Sims. Doug McDermott seeing his first action. Burks, shot won't go. Shepard with a rebound. You know, JJ, we were talking about obviously shorthanded and playing the minutes. But it's so much more than just extra minutes for these Knicks. It's the did not start the season in the starting lineup. Quentin Grimes did. Josh Hart was coming off the bench. It's by necessity that they've had this lineup. And it's a credit to the New York Knicks, their players, Coach Tibbs. They have figured out how to make this group work. They have maximized this group. But again, like, there, there, there's a limit to energy. There's a limit to the exertion. Those things get magnified in the playoffs, particularly when you're playing a team like the Indiana Pacers that plays as fast as they do and wants to pressure full court. And, you know, it's in the playoffs, it's only one game, and you always move on. But between being shorthanded and their star player, Jalen Brunson, is clearly not right. And the Pacers right now have taken hold of the momentum in this series, but it's still just two games apiece. And Shepard gets the rebound. And all this talk about what the Knicks are going through, this takes nothing away from one of the most incredible performances of, of these playoffs by any team, what the Pacers have done here this afternoon. It has been absolutely spectacular how they manhandled and dominated the Knicks. Mike, they feel like they've gotten their mojo back, and it's directly traceable, as you see, Jericho Simpson, that impacts this whole group. You know, Doris, what I found so impressive is, and the count is that, is after the game two loss, and there were some controversial calls or no calls, Halliburton said, listen, this is only my second playoff series, but I feel once you start saying, oh, we should have won that game, it's going to mess you up going forward. We just have to play better. And that mindset from a young player in his first playoffs going into game three that's enormous and that's why they talk about him as even though he's young he's such a terrific leader for this team Jalen Smith seeing some action with McDermott McConnell Isaiah Jackson they're just pouring it on two and a half gone by here in the fourth Burks able to answer Timeout call by Rick Carlisle is going to empty his bench some more. It's not just the points to me, it's the shot attempts. It's him looking to score. Doug McDermott lines it up. That won't go. McBride with the rebound. Jarris Walker is out there. Jalen Smith. Kendall Brown as well. McBride connects on a three. As we send it over to Lisa. Yeah, Michael, when we talked to Tyrese pregame, he said the one thing that did change for him since game one when he had the six points was his mindset, that he wasn't really worried about the points because he said the law of averages always even out with the shot making. But he said being more aggressive, like you guys were saying, on both ends of the floor lose. No one expected you to be here. No one expected this team. To between scoring and dishing, when they acquired him from Sacramento with a Sabonis trade, they thought he was... Here's this great, terrific young point guard, and he erupted scoring-wise, as you said earlier, Doris, early in the season. He was on an incredible streak. Oh, a chance for the reserves deep on the bench. Get some run here in the fourth quarter as Brown shot off the mark. Wendell Brown, the second-year player out of Baylor. McDermott, of course, the veteran. Jarris Walker, the rookie from Houston. Shake Milton shot won't go, but Sims on the follow. Right, watching film is a big part of the playoffs. JJ, Doris, does Tom Thibodeau even show this film? I'm in in the series for beating us by 30. It counts the same. Whether you win on an Andrew Nemhard step back three from 30 feet, it's still one win. And I'll actually use a Tyrese Halliburton quote that he said the other day. He's talking about the playoffs. He said, I would say more than anything, it's about getting to the next play than it is about responding to something good and bad. And if you're the New York Knicks, it's about the next play, the next 21. They lost by 39 to Brooklyn. The Heat lost by 36 to the Spurs when they won the title. So in some of the great teams in NBA history, there's a goaltend there. I had two games apiece. Peace. 
Walker throws it ahead. Brown goes up. Isaiah Jackson can't get it. Shot blocked by Brown. Lumet it really has been a, a different defensive pacer team here at home. And Rick Carlisle said that. We asked him being with the Virginia Cavaliers. Monday. Walker throws it out of bounds. Well, the New York Knicks have been resilient all season. And even in the playoffs, they lost that crushing game five against the Sixers when Maxey hit that almost half-court shot to force overtime. And they blew a six-point lead in the final 28 seconds, came back and won game six in Philly. They're going to have to bounce back after getting dominated here in game four as McBride misses that. There's still six minutes left. <laughs> Mike, you mentioned Ralph Kiner. Who's, who's your favorite baseball player of all time? <laughs> Bud Harrelson. Deep cut. Bud Harrelson just recently passed away, the great Met shortstop. And McBride gets it, comes up the other way as we're past the midway point here of the fourth. Again, Tuesday night as Diakite misses. Will be game five back in New York. Eight minutes. Nemhard only 21 minutes. And the 28 minutes, that's the most minutes any pacer starter played here. That's how dominant a victory it was. It's incredible. And talking to him before the game, Mike, he told Lisa and I, Lisa reported this early. He said the last win against the Bucks in 10 years for the Pacers. The toughness of the Knicks, and it's appropriate. To me, what the last couple games have been about for this team is grit and toughness and playing through some injuries. That's a great call. And, and look, I, I think you could probably say that about every team still left in the playoffs, right? You don't get deep into the playoffs, into the second round, without a level of toughness, resiliency, togetherness. And you could say that. Well, most of the crowd has stayed. Yeah, they, they were screaming from the opening tip. And they, as we said earlier, a little tired right now. There's Daquan Jeffries. Throws it up, shot bounces around, tipped up and in. Nice second effort from Jeffries. Ball knocked out of bounds. Anybody playing in these playoffs, but the last two games, Pacers have come up with a formula to make it really difficult. Uh, Jalen Brunson. Sims deflects it out of bounds.